Hi guys, just wanted to pop in and put the things in to the video that I forgot last time. So this is pretty much a part two and I did write some things down, um, but I do not have my cool spectacles right now. I don't know where they are. I got new ones. Um, ha, these are my new ones. Okay. So I'm just gonna go with it tonight. It's late, it's the middle of the night. Um, most people that are normal, well, day walkers, um, not everybody's normal. I don't know. Um, anyway, enough of that. This is about teeth, right? Right, okay. So I was really neglecting a couple things because I was trying so hard to cut it short and I'm kind of learning some editing stuff and I think by the time this one comes out and you get this far, you'll be fine. Anyway, um, what's really important and what I really wanted to remind people of, this is something that I had no help with and I had to do this alone. It took a lot of trial and error and I would say two years in that I finally know what I'm doing. I don't know if there's much more that I can learn about my dentures, but hey, you know, I've come this far, you should never stop learning. So the thing that I have the most problem with, even though it saved me a lot of trouble when my dentures didn't fit, was the adhesive. I call it the denture glue. Like I said, this fixident is the stuff that is the most tolerable. And for people that are sensitive or can't deal, this is your best bet. Um, However, it is affected by temperature. It does need to cure, and I mentioned that in an old video that I made when I first started this. And a lot of the things I show in my earlier videos, they do apply, but they relate more to the beginning stages of your dentures, like when your gums are raw and you have stitches and all those things are happening because the way you learn and you go through so much and you shrink so much in your tissue. And that makes a big difference towards the end. A good year to two years, you should be okay. And they should kind of be a part of you and not so much a nuisance. But back to this, um, I learned that seriously, it is affected by temperature. I do not drink my coffee or tea in the morning with my teeth in. Um, if I'm at home, I do not. And when you do put them in, if you are using adhesive, you need to let that cure. The way that I, you like that? The way that I usually handle it when I was using a lot of adhesive before I got the really good fit going recently was I would bring up a glass of ice water um, and I would just sip that even as I was putting my teeth in, after I would get them all glued in, and I'd set them down, and I want to warn you, that's my list, I want to warn you that um, if you bite down right away when you first put this, <laughs> when you first put this in your mouth, um, it'll ooze, and by the time it sets, it'll be gross. So what I learned is that you put it in, you stick it in on reasonably dry gums. Um, you don't have to be so excessive if you're farther down the road in your healing process because you're not so full of saliva. Um, you want that stuff to set and it's gonna get saliva on it, it's, it's in your mouth. So anyway, what you do is if you set them in your mouth after you've put the adhesive on and just very gently, very gently, Put your teeth together and do something else while you're you know not completely biting down um even do that that helps but don't bite down on them right away because you'll get the ooze and you need that to cure and to sit in there and by taking sips of cold water you're actually helping it to cure um i found that hot liquids tend to loosen that glue, that adhesive, sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> um, tend to loosen up that adhesive. And 
if you've had them in all day long and you've eaten and drank and done all the things that you normally do with your mouth, by the end of the night, you could just pop them right out and your gums aren't really yucky. It'll just come out because it tends to have a shelf life with your day. Um, taking it out or taking out your teeth sooner than necessary or say you, for example, you put them in and you've only had them in a few hours but you need to take them out. Maybe you're not feeling well or you've had them in half the day and you need to take them out. Um, I usually swish around some warm water in my mouth and you can pop them out. Um, what you do need though, because you will still have uh, adhesive on your gums, and this is the complaint that uh, my friends have had. I've had it, I figured it out. Um, the adhesive gets stuck to your gums and it's gross. You can pick it off, um, you can brush it off, but it doesn't come all the way off. If you go to your local, um, what's the word? discount department store like a Walmart or a Target or even a dollar store, get a batch of the cheapest washcloths you can find. They usually come in a bundle of really ugly colors. I hate blue, but I like blue makeup, go figure. Um, but a dry one rubbed around on your gums will take all that adhesive off. You can even wet the corner with a little bit of warm water and get the rest of it off. Then you can brush your gums, put your teeth in the teeth bath with the little tablet, and um, you're good to go. So, I, let's see, I think I did all of that. Oh, the part that you really wanna see, and I know that there are some fun people out there, this is probably gonna be their favorite part, but I'm willing to do this to help you when no one else is gonna help you. So, here comes the fun, the fun part. I wanna show you what the stages of reline look like. And this is all hard relines, and that usually means they're waiting for your gums to finish shrinking down. I think I'm pretty much done. We're at two years this summer. So, on with the show. I'm going to show you the levels of, uh, building material that bring us to our final stage of the denture where it fits without adhesive. It actually sucks in, suctions, excuse me, suctions to your gum and your jaws and you're eating like a champ. You can see here There's a lot of areas where the color has changed. And that's because, ooh, is there something on there? How gross. Um, that's how you can tell where they've built up the material. You can actually see it better in my upper denture. So let's get on with the show. These ones fit really, really, really good. Mm. Okay, so, as you can see there, yes, those are better, better vantage point wise. You can see all the changes that they have made and now they finally fit after having my gums shrink. for two years. So, with that, God, I hope I edit this video good. I need a drink. That was fun. It's uh, almost time for bed, but I'm gonna put some makeup on. Why? Because I already have some on. I was playing with some stuff earlier that's rad. I hope I edit this video okay. Just can't end the show. Yes, queen.
clean. Dying never looks so good. I was a mortuary science major and I know that there's no way in hell I could do my own makeup right before I die. It just won't work. It is just impossible. Oh my gosh. And a code for success. Because you're never really done. And then the trick I taught you guys last time, it was on the list last time. For those of you that watched the last video, the liquid lipstick, you gotta let it dry. So, Play some music, rock out, keep your lips open, you too will be a movie star. If you're a lady that likes makeup and you've succumbed to dentures for whatever reason, lipstick becomes your new best friend at this point in your life. And I am right around the corner from 50 and I think 50 is great. Well, it'll be great after I get some stuff done. What do I always say? I'm so tired. Why do I make these videos in the middle of the night? Being alive, alive is beautiful. Whether I have the makeup on or not, I just don't wanna waste it. So that's why I'm trying to do videos. When the face is on, I'll make a video. So that inspires me to get my sad sack of an ass out of whatever bad mood I'm in.